Hello. Um, this is the second handout f that's available for this week called Tariff System. So let's quickly just look through this and then there's an example that I would like to discuss. Um, but let's just first go through the theory. Let's enlarge this slightly. Okay. A tariff is a fee that you pay for a particular service. We get municipal tariffs. For example, we pay a certain amount of money per electricity unit used of or amount of water used is in, measured in kiloliters. We also pay other tariffs, uh, for example, for sewage. Okay, we get telephone tariffs, which include cell phone tariffs, prepaid or contract, fixed line tariffs. Uh, this may be linked to internet tariffs, as people use their cell phones uh, or landlines to get access to the internet. We get transport tariffs. This includes bus, taxi and trains fares and our bank fees are also tariffs. Okay, so first of all water tariffs and now this example that follows, I will be doing that separately because I will also want you to do it. As How do water tariffs work? We don't pay one fixed amount per kiloliter of water that we use. Each, mun each municipality uses a special table with water usage rates. This table works according to the principle, the more you use, the more you pay. Right, so now this is a table that is from the Oxford Successful Mathematical Literacy, uh, Mathematical Literacy book. All right, so now this is called the gliding scale. If you use up to 6 kiloliters, you pay 6 rand 48. Water that you use between 6,1 kiloliters and 30 kiloliters is, uh, is charged at 16 rand 20 cents. Water that's used be that's between 30 and 1 kiloliters and 60 kiloliters is charged at 21 rand 60. Do you see that it increased quite rapidly? As soon as you, uh, for every uh, liter that you consume more than 60 kiloliters, you pay 80 rand 74. Um, if you use more than 6 kiloliters, you also pay extra 7 rand 15. All right. Okay, so the explanation of the table. In the first line, if you use 6 kiloliters or less, you pay 6 rand 48 per kiloliter use. This means that if you use 5 kiloliters, you will pay 5 times 6 rand 48, which is 32 rand 40. If you use uh, if you consume in this one and you use 28,7 kiloliters, you still pay 6.48 for the first 6 kiloliters and then 6 rand 20 per kiloliter for the remaining water loose, used. So first you have to subtract 6 rand from the total com consumed. So in this line you use 22,7 kiloliters so you force the first six kiloliters you pay six around 48 per kiloliter then you you use 20 uh, 22,7 kiloliters times 1620 and then uh, 28,7 times 7 rand 15 for the in, to in total for um, infrastructure. Okay, so the last row of the table say you have to pay an extra fee per kiloliter of water use if you use more than 6, 6 kiloliters water per month. So this really gives you an incentive to use less water per month. Let's quickly decrease the size of it. And the fourth row, if you, in this row, if you use more than then um, if you, for instance, use 71,8 kiloliters for the month, um, the, uh, yeah, for the month, if you first go 6 kiloliters is 6 rand 48. Then in this, there's 24 kiloliters, so they, that's charged at 16 rand 20. Then in this line, uh, that's 30 kiloliters, that's 21 rand 60. And then there's 11,8 kiloliters remaining, and that's charged at 80 rand 70. And then for the whole 71,8 um, kiloliters, you charge an extra 7, 7 rand 15. Okay. Um, 
Right, so how do municipality know how much water you use? Outside your water, uh, 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 sorry, outside your yard, there's a, a, a tap with a meter on. And this meter will keep on running as you use water. The municipality reads the number from the meter on the same day of each month. For example, on the 1st of May, the reading was 0024746. And on the 1st of June, 2003, 13 the reading was 0.023548 so therefore the usage for the month of may was the large amount minus the small amount 72 kiloliters and now you have to complete this so we'll get i want you to quickly try this by yourself using this table and then I'm going to continue with the tariffs and then we'll go back to this example. Okay, so let's do electricity tariffs. Right, so what's the difference between prepaid and monthly electricity tariffs? This this is still on your, your uh, worksheet. So with prepaid tariffs, you go to the municipality or at some stores and you buy a certain amount of electricity and you load it onto the meter. Um, for the monthly uh, electricity tariff, you get a monthly bill and then you pay afterwards for the uh, amount of um, electricity that you've consumed. Okay, so let's quickly look at the uh, advantages of prepaid versus monthly or monthly versus prepaid. With prepaid, you never get any unexpected surprises. Um, you pay for a certain amount of electricity and you put it onto the meter and if you've used that up you're out of electricity so that's a disadvantage you might uh, get to a Saturday evening with all the stores closed and then you will sit without any electricity and then there's no way to recharge your prepaid electricity to buy prepaid electricity um, so with this one you really need to plan plan in advance with the monthly electricity um, you can just consume and consume and then at the end of the month you get an unexpected surprise for instance if you have a tumble dryer and a washing machine and heaters and air conditioners and uh, kettles and all, all sorts of uh, electric uh, elect, uh, electric equipment in the kitchen and in your house and you consume a lot of hot water then at the end of the month you might get a huge surprise because you've consumed all this electricity and now you're not able to pay for it all so with this one you need the disadvantages you need to pay a plan well in advance but you won't get any surprises but with this one um, you d your planning don't need to be that good but you can easily over consume and then you sit with a bigger bit of a problem so um, let's quickly go to the end how the costs are calculated electricity is measured in kilowatt hours the electricity readings are taken monthly in the case of a monthly account the cost is calculated the number of kilowatt hours used times of the price per kilowatt times 1,14 and we multiply with 114% this is 1,14 because we need to add that onto that amount okay let's go to the next one cell phone tariffs it works exactly the, uh, the same as a as a, the prepaid and the um, the the monthly bill for electricity with prepaid you can't over consume so if you've used all your money on your cell phone you can't use any more with a contract you can easily get a huge surprise a 20,000 rand account I saw the other day somebody received um, because you made overseas phone calls and you sent SMS's etc so with this one you can easily over consume then you might be in need but nowadays we have a please call me but before that, sometimes you're stuck somewhere or your car breaks down and then you don't have any money on your, on your phone. Whilst with the contract, um, you will always have the, the uh, phone, um, the, the ability to phone if, if you have reception. Okay, so the prepaid, it's a cost, is equal to the number of minutes times the cost per minute. And a contract, the cost is equal to the monthly sub subscription fee plus the number of minutes times the cost per minute. <laughs> Um, okay, so now there's an exercise about cell phones and then 
it is the um, informal assessment for this week. All right, thank you very much. Please remember um, to, to do this example for 72 kiloliters. It's just slightly um, more than the 71,8 kiloliters of water. So we would assume that the, um, the total amount might be very close. Okay, good luck.